Hey y'all and welcome to another great edition of Hillbilly DVD Reviews. I'm your boy The Goat and this week I'm going to be reviewing the Blu-ray of Invincible. This one starring Mark Wahlberg and uh, it's just a really great inspirational Disney film. I figured I, you know, for a change, quit reviewing all this goddamn filthy shit on here and do something for the fucking family. This is based on a true story. I don't know if you remember when this came out a few years ago. It's based on a guy, Vince Papelli. He was like a 30-year-old bartender in Philadelphia. This one's just an interracial story about the Philadelphia Eagles in the 1970s. Uh, they were a shitty. They had a new coach come in, Dick Vermeil, who you might know was the architect of the greatest show on turf, uh, St. Louis Rams, back when they won it, Kurt Warner. Anyway, he was a coach back then of the Eagles. He said, we're going to have open trials. God damn, I want the best players in here. So all these bums come rolling off the street. Marky Mark playing Vince Papelli. He comes in. He's like a 32-year-old. He comes in, but it turns out he's fast as hell. They call this motherfucker white lightning in the movie. And uh, he gets on. He gets on special teams. You know, basically the movie is all about him just going through the tryouts, getting to practice, and everybody's like, man, you can't do it. At first, like all his fucking inbred drunk cousins and shit, they're like, you can't do it. You're a fucking loser like us. But he proves them wrong, goddammit. He makes the team and he goes through all the practices and they finally give him a real jersey. And then, uh, you know, the big scene at the end is he fucking goes and he runs out on the field and he makes the one big play that Vince made in uh, one of the games. Vince uh, went on to uh, play on special teams for Eagles for like two or three years after that, so he had a pretty good career for just a fucker off the street. This is, uh, you know, this being a Disney movie and all, this is, a, it's really weird that it stars Mark Wahlberg. It's kind of like the PG, G-rated version of The Fighter. But, you know, instead of Christian Bale doing all that goddamn crack and banging a horse, it's just about this guy fucking trying to make a football team. Because it's inspirational and it'll make you want to get up off your fucking couch at the end and go do something with your life, I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. It's pretty damn good. It's a little corny. I ain't going to bullshit you. Picture and quality is where it is. Blur Ray jumps off the screen. I gotta tell you, man, this one was really fucking good. What they did was, you know, they had to do a lot of CGI and bullshit to recreate these old stadiums from the 70s that don't exist anymore, so they really used the opportunity to pump up the colors, make it exciting, make it worth your time, and it just really crystal clear, clear. This is like, this is an old Blur Ray. This came out about five years ago, but it was one of the very first ones where people went, God damn. Picture and sound, 10 out of 10. This is one of the best ones out there, God damn it. Special features. Uh, they, you know, they have some little documentaries, whatever. It kind of looks like some shit you would see on TV. That's fine. But the thing that's really cool about it is they have a couple commentaries. One with the director and the actor and all bullshit. But they also have one with Vince Papelli, the real life guy. So he goes through and he tells you what was bullshit in the movie and what was not. That is interesting. I like that. It's just a winner of a fucking disc. Anyway, this is the GOAT. And I just want to sign off and say uh, there better be some football this fall, damn it. You, you billionaires and millionaires better get together and blow each other because I want to watch the motherfuckers. We're going head to head Sunday night, Monday night, every night of the week, Thursday night football. I want that shit. Or else I just might go out the streets and commit some goddamn evil like Ray Lewis said.